Now in this question then we know that the circumference is equal to 2 pi r and we're told that the circumference is 60 units so therefore 60 must be equal to 2 times pi times the radius of the circle r. So what I'm going to do is get r by dividing both sides by 2 pi so the radius would be equal to 60 divided by 2 pi. And that cancels, 2 into 60 goes 30, so that's 30 over pi. Now, next, okay, what I'm going to do is call this length, okay, across here, just each of the parts B, okay, and I'll call that part B. I'll also call this part X, and from here, down to here must be, this is the center circle by the way, out to the circumference, okay, must be the radius, so this part's going to be r. So this length down here is going to be x plus r. Now you should know by the chord theorems for circles that 2 times this distance down here would be equal to this distance times this distance. So I'll just put here by the chord theorem. Okay. What we have is essentially 2 multiplied by this distance here, that's x plus r, is going to equal this list distance, b, multiplied by this distance, which will be b. So in other words, b squared. Now we know about b squared, we can use Pythagoras' theorem from this triangle here. Okay, so I'm just going to put over here that by Pythagoras' theorem, by Pythagoras' theorem, what we have is that b squared is equal to r squared, the hypotenuse squared, minus this short side squared. So we have b squared equals r squared, the radius squared, minus x squared. So what I'm going to do now is put this into this equation here. I'm going to also number my equations. Let's just put this one here as number 1, this one as number 2, and this one as number 3. So what I'm going to do is substitute sub number 3 into number 2 and what I therefore have is that 2 lots of x plus r 2 lots of x plus r is equal to b squared but we know that b squared is r squared minus x squared r squared minus x squared now r squared minus x squared factorizes okay so we can write this as now r squared minus x squared is the same as r minus x multiplied by r plus x. If you expand that out, you'll get r squared minus x squared. This is often known as the difference of two squares. Now x plus r and r plus x are exactly the same value, so therefore I can divide both sides by x plus r. That would cancel out with that one there. So what we end up with is a nice simple equation that 2 equals r minus x. Now I know what r is from number 1, it's 30 over pi. So therefore I can just, we'll put a note here, we can say that sub 1 into, okay, this equation here, let's call that equation 4, sub 1 into 4, so therefore what I have is 2 equals r, which is 30 over pi, okay, minus x. So this allows me to find out what x is. So I'll just say that it follows from here that x would be equal to 30 over pi minus 2. Okay, so we've got that value now. So my target is to work out the length of the chord, so I need to work out what b is. So, how am I going to do that? Well, I can substitute 
this value along with r back into uh, Pythagoras' theorem which was equation 3. So what we'll do is I'll just move that up like so. Okay, so if I say now substitute sub this equation, let's call that number 5. Okay, substitute equation 5 and also the value of r which remember up here was 30 over pi. Okay, we'll just put that in. Substitute that into number 3. We have that b squared okay, equals r squared which we said was 60 over 2 pi or basically um, 30 over pi. Got that squared. Minus x squared, so we've got this value here, minus 30 over pi. Sorry, let's just remove that. Minus 2, all squared. Okay, so I hope you can follow that so far. Working this out, okay, we've got 30 over pi, all squared there. If I square this out, I've got minus 30 over pi, all squared. Then we get twice the product, that's 60 over pi. So that's going to be minus 60 over pi is the product. Double that, that's minus 120 over pi. And then we've got this minus, that's plus 120 over pi for that. And then square the last term, that would be plus 4. And so I'd subtract that, that's minus 4. All right. Okay, so where is this taking us to now? Well, these two terms cancel, so I have got 120 over pi minus the 4. Okay, is b squared, so I just need to double that. Sorry, I'm going to need to take the square root, so b would equal the square root of 120 over pi minus 4. And the length of the chord would be... 2b, so therefore length of chord equals 2 times the value of b, so that would be 2 times the square root of 120 over pi minus 4. And if you work that out on a calculator, you get 11.69 five and so on, which you could round up say to one decimal place, that would be eleven point seven say units, okay, whatever those units may be, to say one decimal place. That brings us to the end then of that uh, example.